There's an interesting, if not somewhat confusing, new study coming out from MIPT, which is the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. Um, and this is an experiment on mice, which you may or may not approve of, but we are going to speaking about it uh, nonetheless today. Um, basically, this found that uh, in, in studies of aggressive mice, uh, that th th aggression, aggression could influence the production of new nerve cells in the brain, uh, be it the amygdala or the hippocampus, and this later affected uh, changes in the mice themselves and changes neurobiologically. So it's a, exactly, it's a study between uh, Russian neurobiologists and American neurobiologists. And what they saw in this study that again is limited to male uh, mice mm -hmm. is that after a, a aggressive behavior, new neurons appeared in the hippocampus. Right. And that their behavior, again, basically affected, which is the, the conclusion of this paper, or what it is trying to study, is that our behavior, or in this case, animals' behavior, can affect the composition and the, the biology of, new nerve of the brain. Exactly. So what they found was that it was um, these nerve cells are being produced in different regions of the brain. Mm -hmm. Though, uh, I mean, you're going to clarify this for sure, but typically the amygdala center is more based on emotion, maybe fear, maybe happiness. And typically the hippocampus is more re uh, relegated to memory, long-term memory, though this isn't necessarily an ironclad rule. Well, it's not because here, here's the thing. It's like a computer. It's the exact same thing. So there... One part is designated as memory, or it is designated as the amygdala, in this case, the emotions. Mm -hmm. But they all the brain doesn't work compartmentalized in that manner. No. So it, it all kind of fuses in together, which is why both regions have been lit up and affected during these studies. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about these studies is the goal of the study in the future, this is a step one, the goal of the study in the future is to study these areas and the effect that aggression has on them, potentially to, he um, to heal pathological processes. So right. thinking of things like autism, th some of the behavior that these mice were depicting is very similar to what we would see in children with autism, for yeah. example, or people with autism. These observed uh, symptoms were similar. I mean, this is still an early on in the, the research of this um, particular formation of uh, new cells in the brain. Um, but yeah, they, they were shown to be incre uh, increased anxiety, stereotypical, repetitive behavior, impaired ability to communicate with others. Um, and they think this is somehow related, though, mm -hmm. as I said again, this is still early on in the study of this. And one of the things that they found is that these mice that were put in situations where they were aggressive towards each other, they were male mice, and then they were separately in a separate experiment, but still kind of joined in the study, they were put in different rooms, let's call it, that would either suggest they wanted to be hidden away in an enclosed environment, protected and safe and isolated, or they would be comfortable being open and social within other groups. And one mm -hmm. of the things that they discovered is the more aggression and the more of these um, brain cells that they were producing, the more that they would fight, but then the more that they would retreat into the dark hidden compartments. Yeah. So they didn't want to be in the open. To me, exactly. It I'm does not really get confusing. Sure what the conclusion is based on that. It's a little bit muddy. This study is so preliminary when it comes to this. It's so new that we don't even know what the practical applications are. Again, mm -hmm. we're hoping that this helps doctors in the future treat pathologies like autism. And mm -hmm. but right now it's a little bit confusing. It's a little bit uh, whew, I, conflicting when it comes to the study as well and obviously animal research. It's one of those things that it's hard to talk about because there's nothing tangible that comes out of it yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are, I, I've said this many times, I mean, this, this is an early on in the study of this particular uh, nerve production and whether it relates to autism or um, developing more, you know, brazen or avoiding risk attitudes mm -hmm. um, and what certain behaviors and activities inspire or create one another and, you know, Bio, uh, biologically as well. Mm -hmm. Again, this is, uh, you know, it's it's the mind and the brain kind of a thing. This is, again, corroborating in a way the fact that our behavior and our actions and our mind affects the biology of our brain. And mm -hmm. we can change it within our lifespan. It's not something that you have or you don't have. Yeah. That's kind of what the conclusion of the study would be. Yeah. Well, audience, what do you think of this preliminary study so far? Let us know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more.